And welcome back. The program is still for the record with DJ Abbas. And my my next guest is um, I'm I'm a fan. I'm actually I'm not a fan. I'm actually an air conditioner. I'm bigger, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bigger than that. And then I've been watching him for a few decades, and he's been in some of my all-time favorite um, Nigerian movies. You see, notice I didn't use Nollywood. And how you doing, sir? DJ Abbas, it's great to be, great thank, to be Thanks here. for coming. The last time I saw you was on the red carpet at one event. I think it was Nollywood Movies Awards years ago, if I remember very, very well. Oh. One of the ones held in Nigeria. But, oh, but since I've, been, I've been seeing you up and everywhere. Oh, dear. Um, Yemisho, the more actor, dramatist, director, filmmaker. In what order would you... In Bro what order... Broadcaster. I'm broadcaster. So, <laughs> in what order would you say... Would you liking yourself? Which ones do you enjoy the most? Is it the actor, the broadcaster, the dramatist, the director, the filmmaker? I love the acting part. And that's what you started with? I love, yes, I love, I love the acting part. Uh, that's probably what I started with as a kid. Yes. But professionally, I started as a broadcaster. Okay. Um, I love the acting part. I love the broadcasting part. Uh, I love Drama, the, stage? Oh, that's... I really, really, I mean, that comes with the acting thing. Exactly, yeah. It's um, a very strong part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that. I also love the comparing part, comparing of events okay. part. It, um, which comes naturally in a way. Comes, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, 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 I love that. That is the little, little Jian Sokyo on the side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was, that yes, was so, bread on the table. Yes, the oil, uh, you know, the, the, the ring going around. Right, mm -hmm. you know. And then... Um, well, a few other things. Uh, they are and if the, the, the film director. I that's that gives you a degree of authority. Exactly. Mm. It gives you a degree of authority. It gives it um it widens the scope of creativity. Mm. Right. So that's that's quite exciting also. And uh, well, I also bottle palm wine, <laughs> but that's on the side. That's another one. Just put on the side. <laughs> and and. Unlike um, the vast majority of people in that industry, right. not only did you did, did, did a lot of that come naturally, but you also went to school for it. You have a, a, a bachelor's in in um, dramatic arts from yeah. Ife, Ife OAU, right. and you also have a master's in mass comm from from Unilag. Unilag so, University at what point did you? And I'm sure at at one point did you say to yourself, "Yes, I think this is a path for me to follow." In order, because before you decide to study, you must have kind of like come to a conclusion that yes, this is for me. I'll tell you, I'll take I'll take it all the way back to my grandmother. Okay. The late Oluriadi Jokebaribo, God bless her. So, she was the wife of the late Alake of Ebalan. Okay. And uh, I'll make this very so brief. royal connection. I'll make this very brief. She used to take us to the Centenary Hall in Abeokuta okay. to watch state productions. So there, as a very young boy, I saw Ogunde, Ogumola, Droladipo, Baba Mero, Baba Sala. The very best. Just name it. Mm -hmm. I saw the, the creme de la creme there. On stage, right on stage. And uh, that was building up in me without me knowing. Mm -hmm. That was building something in me. Outside that, I was exposed to our masquerade festivals. Uh, I was exposed to... Uh, uh, Call it our fashion, local fashion, mm -hmm. our drums, our dances. I saw all that as a young boy. So all this put together uh, was building all this in me. Okay. That probably was what led me into a situation where I strayed into the village and master. Set in 1976. Setting. So it's a, it's a, it's a long <laughs> story, DJ Abbas. And technically that's your start. Can we yes, say? it is. Um, Acting-wise, it okay. is. It is. Seriously, it is. So all that was going on. You played Cancel Obamish's son. Uh, you, 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 you've done a lot of digging. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you've done a lot of digging. So I, I, at the point I had to make a choice, I wasn't thinking of any other thing. It was going to be theater. And it was the acceptable way. within the family at the time. Stringly, it was. Mm. Uh, and I use the word stringly because... In the, I mean, norm. at that period, it wasn't the norm. Mm. But my dad said yes. But I think his saying yes had to do with my exposure to the village master thing. He felt because that was, that was I sneaked notch. out to rehearsals then. Without his knowledge. Yes. One, once or twice, I was caught and I got the cane for it. Okay. However, the very first day, my first episode of village master came on air. 
I became a star in the house. And, and in nationwide, the area. nationwide too. <laughs> and, and, and so <laughs> when that happened, I guess the man realized that this guy. There's something this is, here. So at, at the time I was filling my form for the university, the options I gave, uh, I mean, the, the options I gave were, I mean, I, we, were, we, were, we were to make two or three options then. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I didn't choose any other thing for those options. Dramatic ass. So no, no, no. I wasn't going to be admitted for any other thing. Mm. It's a long story. So it, it was accepted. It was accepted. And uh, of course, with the backing of someone like my granny, who was an art buff, kind of, mm -hmm. uh, that really helped. She said, I also she, she saw said the ball rolling. She did. She did. And I'll give the credit to her any day, any time. Um, if I go back to um, now, for me, for yeah. someone like me, and for quite a lot of people out there, right. perhaps a certain in the more recent generations didn't actually catch you on Village Headmaster. But no, I'm sure no, the no, vast didn't. majority caught you on Tunde Kilani Productions, Mainframe Productions, um, Ayonimo Fe, Kushegbe, Toluani Le, Shawaroide, Oleku. Tiluwale is my is in my top five all time movies all time oops, oops. all time so that stands out. So at what point did you team up with um, Uncle TK mainframe? Because you did quite a handful of you know blockbusters with him. I came from NTA Okuta. Okay. Where I spent about ten years. Okay. Presenting, producing, broadcasting, broadcasting generally. Okay. I moved on to Rui Communications owned by Sonny Rabo. Yes. Okay. Uh, that was an advertising outfit. Okay. That was where I met Tunde Kelani. Okay. He came to handle a production for us. It was a commercial. Mm -hmm. he, he handled the camera and I was directing. Or let me put it this way, I was assisting Sonny Rabo directing. So we were in a professional capacity, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So that was where we met and uh, the chemistry probably just clicked. clicked. And uh, I guess on his way out, he took me along more or less <laughs> yes because it was just about starting mainframe productions then okay and then i moved in and uh the it was uh well it was an exciting trip so you know, the, yeah. the first part was released in 1993 i'm quite good with dates with this particular this this date. i envy you no, no, i'm horrible just, with dates because, no, because 1993 because i know it was 1993 94 95 1 2 3 in that the, three, oh. the trilogy okay now and when i saw Tioluwa, i just thought wow and this was just about the time what we know today as Nollywood yeah. was pretty much springing up. And, yeah, and I tell right. people that Nollywood has done great for us, but before Nollywood, we had a thriving um, cinematic uh, we, we film, did. film we did. industry. We did. And we you did. are and all exactly that. you are you know a, you are we were banging them in, in the in the middle of that. Now, um, and I, I try not to compare the the genre, so to say. Okay. But you look at Nollywood today. And you look at what you guys did then. Okay. What would you do differently if you were? Because I don't see you a lot in a lot of Nollywood productions. I don't. I know you do some, but I don't see. I you do a, some. I, I don't see you a lot. Was that by? Is that by choice? It is by choice. I. I love acting. I love the movies, but I still don't think my face should be on every movie on mm. the rack. Um. I'm somebody that believes so much in research. I believe in being very thorough, mm. especially, I mean, it's a choice. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's a choice we've made. Mm. You want to make movies, to do it right. make movies, but do it right. Mm. Uh, you want to be on TV, do it right. So I, I, I must say that I appreciate what has been done. Just as you, as, you, mm. as you said, I appreciate a lot. A lot has gone into it. A lot is still going into it. Mm. A lot of sweat is going into it. Mm. The guys out there are, 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 are getting something out of nothing. Mm. In terms of support, mm. in terms of uh, availability of the technicals, in terms of um, finance, just name it. They, 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 it's, it's, it's a lot of work out there. But um, what you see in that industry today is a replica of what you see in other fact sectors of our, of our, of our life generally. Mm. What you see there is what you find in, in medicine. Mm. What you see there is what you find in law, in business. Don't let me mention politics. <laughs> that would be another. That would be another. 
Another so, show entirely. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I keep encouraging practitioners there to take their time about this, to 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 get to know what is expected. Um, this race about I want to churn this out, make some money out of it, and then quickly run on to something else and make some money out of it affects quality. Mm. It affects professionalism. It mm. affects the image of the industry generally. Mm. But there are still some good people in there. There are still some great practitioners in there doing, doing great stuff. Yes, great stuff. And they need to be encouraged. Mm. We are, what we have presently is a situation where the average person that is out of job feels that's a place to hide. Mm. Right? You don't, you don't have to be trained. The entry requirements are quite weak. Very weak and loose. Mm. So that's what that's that's the bane of the thing. And then what makes it worse, of course we all know about piracy. Yes. There is no guarantee of return on investment. Regardless of how good the work is. That there is no guarantee. It's a it's a big shame. But I guess it will get better with time. Uh, but system has to be put in place. Proper system has to be put in place to get this right. How far are we from that? We still have some years to go. Mm. We still have some years to go. But that could be shortened with proper interest. The government has to be involved mm. in terms of regulation, in terms of provision of uh, protection. Yes, okay, protection of what? Government has to be involved. For as long as we're still looking away from it, it's, 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 it will continue to be a problem. That's that. It is, a major, it is a big revenue earner, and it can be a lot bigger for the country. Mm -hmm. It can be a lot bigger. You're saying it's, uh, is it the second biggest? Um, uh, the second third? biggest for volume. In terms of volume, yes, yes, even out in, with even within that volume, a lot of a lot can still be made out of it. That industry employs so many. It's unbelievable. When the economy was rebased, mm. it was like right up there after oil. That industry employs so many, and I cannot imagine a situation where you unleash that population mm. of those who are engaged in it onto the society now, without it. It's a, it's, it's going to be a huge problem. A very big problem. So we really need to go back to the basics. We really need to. I keep, I keep advocating for training and retraining. Mm. I also keep arguing that. Look, let's tell our stories. Mm. People out there want to hear our stories. This idea of wanting to tell uh, the story from the West and give it back to them, you can do it better than them. I think that mentality is changing a bit, though. You wouldn't you say? Yeah, it you is. Look at music now, yeah, um, even no, in movies. No, no, no. The guys, the guys in music, I must tell you, are a bit ahead. Mm. They've done well. They've done well for for that industry. Mm. They've done very, very well. I was just going past. I was just uh, walking past. Um, which which shop now? To uh, was it yesterday? Mm. One of these your stores, right? Mm. One of these your big stores here. Okay. And it was Nigerian music very now. No, that's, that's I mean, it's, it's and I've, I've experienced that over and over, over and yeah. over again. All around the world. I feel so excited about it. Mm. They've done very well. But it's a bit more difficult to put a movie together. Than, a proper, than, than knock, knock out a song, yeah. So. You can walk into a studio even without anything in your head. And you get there, you get inspired, and you churn out something like very, very nice. Similar problem in one of the, your, your other passions. In terms of music now. Yeah, music, yeah. Another uh, similar problem I've seen also in, in one of your passions, broadcasting. Oops. Um, the standards as well. It's And um, Uncle Bissell Lightlo was here a few weeks ago, and he was just saying he belongs to that old generation that were yeah, trained properly. Uh. And right now you listen to the airwaves or you, you watch telly, and it's just like I can't work out what's happening, you know, especially to see where it started with your likes and that gener generation right. and where we are now. Where, 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 did this, where did the disconnect happen? I had the same discussion with uh, Uncle Bisa Latilo yes. a short while ago. And um, where did it happen? I think um, 
I think uh, the point at which we liberalized the industry, we opened it up. And entry requirements became another problem again. It became, a, I mean, uh, the privatization, let me yeah. use that the right yeah, word yeah. now. That was the point. When you had just strictly a few of those stations, uh, you had the NTA. Yes. Uh, what else did we have? That was a Of course, day. WNTV style with WNTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The early days. I mean, it was. OSBC. Yes, the, the, the entry requirements were strict. Mm. And then you had people to look up to in there. Mentors. People, yes, mentors who were not going to take any form of rubbish and they stood their ground about that. Mm. So, uh, but at the point when we, we privatized, oh uh, dear, uh, the, the many stations had to be manned by either the qualified and otherwise relatives came in, brothers, sisters of owners came in. And the owner usually will have the last say. Anyway. So it's a question of, um, I want him in there, or just go in there. This is an ill-prepared person for that job. And before you know it, it's on air, or it's behind the camera messing it up, or it's on the console messing things up. So it's, you now have a gradual struggle to catch up. In between that, you have all the errors. Wow. OK. Um, you, Yoruba films. Yeah. I watch more Yoruba films than any other films myself. Thank you for I that. I think the stories it's, it's are exciting. deeper. Yeah. Um, but then again, we're back to the challenges that right. we see. You know, um, a lot of them don't make cinema. I think the cinema culture is beginning to come back. Right. Quite a lot of um, Nigerian or Nollywood titles now make cinema, but fewer Yoruba titles make cinema. It was the other way around before. Okay. So what has to change? The big screen is very important. Finance is key. Mm. Availability, I mean, accessibility to finance is key. Mm. When the money is not there, people cut corners. Mm. You cut corners. Where you're supposed to use one, two, three uh, inputs, they cut it to one. Uh, they want to pay, they want to pay peanuts for grade C actors. Or you, they want to, you want to use personal relationships mm. with an actor to get your job done. Is this why you the do two of those films? The level, no, maybe not. Um, Maybe it's part of it also. <laughs> but it's, it's certainly not a major reason. Um, that, 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 that is, I mean, It'll always be a factor a, anyway. movie, a movie that you're probably sh supposed to shoot for, let me be very modest, a movie that probably you're supposed to use, shoot for, maybe, let's say, two, two weeks okay. or three, they want to squeeze it into three, four days. And they do. And then you, you have a take, you t have the second take, and because of time, the man says, okay, 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 let's move on to the next one. Meanwhile, you don't have a take. Mm. That happens. And uh, instead of probably having access to probably, let's say, good locations, where which you pay for, you want to, you want to look for somebody to help, and uh, he's giving you just two hours in that house, when you probably need about six hours, it's a lot of factors. Mm. Um, talk about the script, getting professionals to write the script. Subtitling? Don't talk about subtitling, please. Because that's a, that's an older problem. I've been in, I've been, I've been, I've been involved in that battle all along. I've not given up. Because the message can be lost in translation. I went, I went to as far as talking to a university, a department in a, in a university. Olabisi on the university was specific. I want, I actually pleaded and begged for them to get involved in the issue of subtitling. They were willing, they were ready. But the practitioners? But the practitioners were not too excited, at least some of them okay. were not too excited. So that's, that's the issue of subtitling. Okay. I, when I see some, I close my eyes. I try not to watch some in the presence of visitors, of so foreigners and all that. So you're not just complaining all through? No, 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 no. So 
Uh, but we are not we are not we are not giving up on that. It's a lot of factors, man. It's a lot of factors, and uh, people just move from one production to the other. You borrow money from A, B, C people. You put it in there. There's no guarantee that you're going to have that uh, your your revenue Return, back, yeah. the returns, and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the producer starts hiding from A and B. He probably is able to settle C, mm -hmm. and uh, because he has to do the next one, he goes on to EFG, and all that, and it affects a lot of things. It affects a lot of things, but. In all this, mm -hmm. we still have people who are doing it right. And I still insist there are that people who good. are doing it right. Um, and on a, on a final note, um, the new government has just been in place just in the past few months. So if there was anything, if you were going to generally look at the entertainment sector right now, going by what is achieved in the, in the now very, very recent history, or say if you were made the minister for um, arts and culture, what would you do differently? I will encourage training. Training will be a major thing I will, I will do, as in facilitate the training of practitioners within and outside. Okay. I'll do that. I would also make available, or rather arrange for a situation where you can have access to funds at low interest. Like grants, like they have grants. in this country for the um, British grants, Arts Council. Grants yeah. to that, right? I must say that some people have had such opportunities and they've messed it up. I must say that also. Mm. We have the BOI experience. I don't want to mention names here. Mm -hmm. But that notwithstanding, that industry has to be saved. Mm. Because it has become part of a national, a national, national thing, really, yeah. out there. So we need to structure that properly. That I will do. Of course, film villages would have to be available, mm -hmm. would have to be made, would have to be created. We need to create film villages. A situation where our directors and the crew are hounded by area boys or even the police has to stop. Mm -hmm. We need to change that. Piracy is a major one. That is the we big elephant need, in the room. We need to, we need to tackle it headlong. The, law, the laws are there, though. The laws are there. There are laws for any, anything you can think of in that country. Implementation is... Implementation is where the issue is. So, I was involved in the campaign against piracy and all that. So, we need to do that. We need to, we need to battle that. And we need to figure out how we're going to do it. It's come to a point where a, a, a special arm of the police really should be dedicated to that. We need to save that industry. We need to save the practitioners. The people who are, who are thinking of going in there are probably more than those who are in there right now. Mm. So it's a major way of reducing un unemployment in this country. It is. So, I mean, basically, I will do those things. And, of course, we know that we probably need to maybe take off or reduce duties on equipment. Indeed, yeah. it is, that's, that's another key thing. And then we need to build theme houses. It doesn't have to be government. Just en encourage yeah. entrepreneurs. Because currently, private. I think we have um, 100 screens maximum. And we that's need really, to. really. It is, I mean. Just the tip of the iceberg. We need to. We need to encourage people to. I mean, you know that if you do that, you probably have a tax holiday or something like that. Indeed, yeah. That will go a long way in helping. It will go along with what is what is the essence of you putting putting um, a, a flick together and you have no no, no place to, to show it. To it. No, no. Well, you have my vote to be minister of arts and culture any day, any time. It looks like the announcement we made from here. Yes, and but, I, but that's for the record. For the record, <laughs> and I'd like to thank you so much for coming on the show. It's DJ, been an absolute pleasure. DJ Abbas, thank you absolute so much. Pleasure. I feel I feel honored. No, I feel honored. The honor is mine. Trust um, me. Sitting across the table with You're one, too of, kind, one of the very best that we have. You're too kind. Thank you so much. It's so exciting. And that was Mr. Yemi Shodimo. We have in the studio, coming up real soon, a, um, the SSA to the Lagos State Governor on Foreign Affairs and the Diaspora, Mr. Jermaine Sohulu. But before he comes on, we have, we're going to have another big shot, the president of the biggest music awards in Africa, Afrima.
Mr. Magda, that his next. Stay tuned.